late 90s, the High Court became a regular away fixture for Brighton, the club's debts increasing all the time over the previous decade. In 1993, on the verge of receivership, Albion announced their solution. A new company was formed to run the club. It had two shareholders, existing Albion director Greg Stanley and his Lancashire-based business partner Bill Archer. Mr Archer and Mr Stanley negotiated an £880,000 bank loan to save Brighton, secured by a charge on the Goldstone. In return, Albion's other board members agreed to leave their money in the club for three years, but relinquish their shares immediately. The outcome? Bill Archer bought control for £56.25, pence, the price of his shares in the new company. Mr Stanley, who already had substantial investment in Albion, bought the remaining 43%. However, they did take on debts which would reach £6 million by 96. Former MP David Bellotti was appointed chief executive to oversee the restructuring, and the club soon had a new high-profile manager, former Arsenal star Leo. For 18 months, everyone was happy, but the smiles disappeared in the summer of 95. The club admitted it was selling the Goldstone to developers and would move out in a year's time. It planned to play 50 miles away in Portsmouth and seek a new stadium. The announcement infuriated fans. The rows have raged ever since. When you sell a house, do you know where you're going to? You don't sell yourself out when you don't know where you're going to eventually end up. That is ludicrous. It is an inconvenience for the fans for two seasons but it will be worth the wait because they'll have a brand new stadium at the end of it. I firmly believe that if a manager and team are to achieve good results, with very limited resources, then the club must have a stable and a harmonious environment. This has not been possible this season for reasons beyond my control. I want to have a football club to be involved with. If I can't, if I can't help run it, I can at least come and watch. position is that they are not prepared to sell 100% of the club and the consortium's position is that they are not prepared to buy less than 100%. But what else is left open to us? If we, we've done all the nicely nicely stuff, we've done all the letter writing and talking to you guys and writing and reading and the papers and stuff, what else is left open to us? It's very important.
But if you ever doubted the emotion behind Brighton and Hove Albion, I'm sure that piece will have